Hello, this is Lily here. I've invaded Mr. Khan's office and I want to show you two cups, uh, quite different. Uh, they're both drinking cups and I want to talk a little bit about how they were used and how the decoration was really uh, heightening the fun aspect. Now, all of these were for drinking wine in the symposium. The symposium was, of course, a very important institution in aristocratic Athens and uh, it consisted of men reclining on couches in a circle and drinking various dilutions of wine that would have been decided upon by their hosts. So first we're going to look at this masterpiece. It is enormous. So this is attributed to Oltos, this painter. It's dating from about 520 BC, so the late archaic period. And here the size is one of the, the big selling points. It's unbelievably large. I don't even want to guess what volume of wine they would have sort of fit in here. Hopefully it was quite diluted. But it's the decoration that also makes the fun. So last week I spoke very briefly about a mastoid skiffos that was also decorated with these stylized eyes. This is a more common um, shape to be decorated by the eyes. And that is because one would have held it like so. So there's a hole in the bottom of the foot. You would grasp it like this. You would try not to spill wine or drop it. And you would sip delicately while reclining on one sh shoulder <laughs> and try not to spill things. So as you reached the bottom of your cup, you were forced to tilt it up and up and up and up until it really became a mask. So the drinker would have been transformed into this goggly-eyed um, monster, really, uh, for the delight of his companions. Another one um, is decoration in the tondo. So this is referring to decoration on the inside of the cup. Now, there are various ways that painters um, decorated the interiors of cups. Sometimes it was just the circle here. Sometimes the decoration extended all the way up the sides. So as you were drinking this dark liquid, you would slowly have the images revealed, revealed, revealed until you got to the bottom and um, were confronted with this surprise. So in this case, the scene is quite sedate. This is an, a nude athlete in the palestra with the strigil. But they were not always sedate. Uh, the Greeks had a vicious sense of humor and a lot of tondi are decorated with um, sort of explicit erotic scenes. Um, others are decorated with um, sort of bathroom humor at the expense of the drinker. So this um, one example would be a slave um, urinating into a big bowl of wine. Um, so they get quite fun and you can see the, the fun would have progressed as the night went on and on. Um, so in this sense it's also a decoration as part of the performance of the symposium. Now I just want to say a little word about drinking games because there is plenty of literary evidence and figural evidence that they took place and they one of the best vessels to use for them was the kylix, um, usually unstemmed, so such as this one. And one of my favorite, um, I've never tried it, but one of my favorite um, examples of such a drinking game is kotobos. And this is when the drinker, when he's um, at a very low level of wine, so they're really just dregs um, at the bottom, he would put it on his index finger, spin it rapidly, and attempt to aim the dregs, so these unfiltered dregs of strong wine, at targets. Now the targets could be his companions, this is my favorite uh, version, um, they could be baskets or something else in the room, they could be um, little discs set upon lamp posts that you have to knock off with this uh, dreg of wine, um, or they could be little boats floating in water. And the idea is to sink the boats by repeatedly targeting them with this uh, liquid. So this is a, a, really a game of hand-eye coordination. Uh, in the off-season, in leisure times, this also would have been a way for, for 
uh, Greek men to, to hone um, skills that would be, of course, very necessary in battle and in hunting. So I hope you've enjoyed this strange little uh, discussion about Kylikis drinking cups. Uh, please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions.